349, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's not who you think. It's Supergirl, that's Superman's cousin, and it's the name of the new movie starring a newcomer, uh, Helen Slater. The National Association of Theater Owners just named her their star of tomorrow, and recently I spoke with Helen Slater about herself and about Supergirl. Leave this place and do no harm. <gasps> there she is again. What'd she say? This is impossible. This is not right. Where's the wimp? What about the fly? The fly. The first time I went up on the wires, you go around 100 feet in the air, you know, the first time. And all, well, we've built up, but there's nothing like when you finally get up You're there. You're crazy, Helen. Oh, I know. No, thank God my mother wasn't there, but because she would have said, get down, you know, you know. Right. But I sang very loud. It was the first, you know, you the first time I went you water sang skiing, I sang very loud, too. You know, getting up on the water skis, I don't know if you've ever done it, but... Yes. And when I went up, I sang. Oh, you mean just, oh, you mean emotion just to keep from being sang terrified? just really loudly. <laughs> Which way, down or up? Oh, I sing? don't know. It's so petrifying. I mean, really, the, the, at the point that you let go of the fear, it's wonderful. Because what, what you do is you just tell yourself, the worst that can happen is that you'll die. I mean, that really is the worst. So as soon as you let go of that, you're sure. fine. So as soon as you let go of the possibility yes, I mean, of life continuing, it's you fine. You know, James huh? Dean, 23. I mean, a lot, a lot of people died here, so I figure, right. So that is the absolute worst. And then I let go of it, and I had a wonderful time. I mean, I had the best view of England in the world, because we filmed at Pinewood, and it was all in the countryside. And Were you intimidated at all by any of the actors? Because there are a lot of heavy oh. hitters in this cast. Yeah, I mean, in the beginning, yes. You know, walking on the set, and there's Peter O'Toole that first day, you know, standing there six foot one like a prince, you know, so proud, and just me, this, and an apprentice, nothing, 19. But he was wonderful. Took yeah, me I right understand that he wings. was like your teacher, right? You said he was oh, your teacher. Oh, fantastic. What did he do? I mean, he's so, so phenomenal. Well, the first thing he did, which put me immediately at ease, because I'm a musician, and love, and I write, and all that, and just sat me down in a corner, away from everyone in the set and taught me this song that goes in rounds and for like an hour and a half all we did was sing <laughs> and we came on the set singing full blast this you know the song that he taught me and i know hundreds of rounds from from music yes. and we would just be singing and now he was smart and he knew he what he could that's do for you a great he, teacher isn't it because right. they, they they're sensitive to the to isn't the that fabulous to work with peter o'toole oh, oh yeah and he uh, yeah I understand you met with Christopher Reeve, right? Mm. And talking about the whole thing of the Superman, Supergirl image and all that kind yeah. of thing. And he gave you some advice. What kind of advice did he give you? Well, uh, I, I met him after I finished Supergirl, so really the advice were all afterthoughts. Mm -hmm. But there's a wonderful story, which was uh, after we were filming, finished and all that, we were sitting on Central Park West. It was really, really very, very late at night. And I was sitting in front of the Aldwin Hotel. Do you know where that is on Central Park West? Oh, yeah. Huge, huge hotel, 225 Central Park West. And all of a sudden, we're sitting there just talking about, I don't even remember what we're talking about, but six huge fire trucks come out of nowhere and park dead in front of the altar. And all the windows go up, and mothers and children are screaming. They don't know what's going on. You know, a hundred firemen come out getting the hoses, and, you know, and there's Superman, Supergirl, helpless, sitting there, <laughs> unable to do a thing. And he turns, he looks, and he says, well, I guess it's our night off. I said, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> what are we going to do? Helen, thank you. You know, it's very peculiar to have people wanting to know about yourself. At 20 years old, you know, how much could I possibly know about myself? Long Island native Helen Slater knew enough about herself to leap over many other young hopefuls in the proverbial single bound and flew faster than a speeding bullet right into the starring role of Supergirl. The wonderful thing about doing a part like this is that I had to keep calling forth, you know, the, the good points. <laughs> Compassion and kindness and you know, things that we should remember in our everyday life, but a lot of times forget. I mean, Supergirl is about that for the whole film. Leave this place and do no harm. <gasps> there she is again. What'd she say? This is impossible. This is not right. Where's the wimp? A graduate of New York's prestigious high school of the performing arts, Helen found herself making her film debut while working with established stars like Faye Dunaway, Peter O'Toole, and Brenda Vaccaro. Well, it's all awesome. I'm an apprentice. It's all, you know, but when they 
all of them are kind enough to share their craft. You know, how you whittle this bit and how you sand that bit. I mean, this is acting. I'm using, but uh, then it's just me learning from them, really. Lawrence Sevier says, stamina before talent, and boy, is he right. Because things like being 100 feet up in the air on two little wires, you know, stamina, that's it. So I let go of all my fear, and there I was, happy as a clam, up on these wires.